Okay guys, so we are building the trellis today and the trellis is comprised of these T-posts. Um, these are 10 foot T-posts. We are currently marking them off at seven feet so that we can sink about the last three feet into the ground, leaving a seven foot rise on our trellis for the tomatoes. We ran into a few challenges. Um, unfortunately, this uh, post happens to have rocks below it and so it is currently stuck in progress. Um, however, um, back in the back we have gotten all the back posts in. So the pop vines are going to sit on the fence behind the wall and then in front of it will be the trellis vines coming across for the tomatoes. So progress checks soon. Yes, I still have a cardboard box. I'm going to depot. I will add a gate soon. You'll no longer see the unsightly box from Amazon. Um, but we have trellis is going in more soon more soon so the next step in putting our trellises together it was to pick up these um, T junctions which are just slip fit on all three sides uh, no need to get the thread which is more expensive um, and these guys are going to sit right down on top of the T posts and then we're gonna, it's going to allow the conduit that we're going to use um, to run through there and sit down nice and neat on top of there so we're going to add these to the tops of all of the um, posts Okay, so then this is how this goes together. So once those um, pipe pieces are set on top of the T-post, you just slide this guy into one side and then the other one into the other side in the middle. And then the same goes for the end. You just slide these guys in here. And they sit right on here. They're not going anywhere. Um, I'm gonna be adding some cable ties to the pole itself, um, which is where I'll hook the tomato tomahawk wire holder that will then fall down and attach the tomatoes so so we've hung all of the lines down from the trellis line so they're ready to go so we're going to attach all of these to each one of the tomatoes okay so there's a few other parts that we're going to need in order to do this um this little guy um basically snaps around the um, the tomato stem itself so we're gonna clip that on and there's gonna be a line that runs up here now this is a tomato hawk uh, wire it's just a funny kind of shape it's gonna sit right down onto the line that we hook it onto up at the top here um, it comes with some leader twine we're gonna unwind that and then we would hook this down onto the line um, and this runs down to the tomato itself. So I'm gonna show you how to put that together. Um, but at the base, um, when we set up the leader, we're gonna connect this around loosely, loosely tied around the base of the uh, tomato. So it'll be kind of like this. And then we're gonna hook on uh, this line at the base of the tomato to give it really some nice support. Now, chances are your tomato stems are not gonna be bigger than this, so you should be good. Um, it's gonna snap on. A lot of this is reusable. Um, I'm gonna probably put new twine on these next year, but maybe not. Um, there's 30 yards on here. You only need about maybe 10 yards if you're really lucky um, for a year. So we may not have to even replace that for a couple of years. Um, these guys are really inexpensive. I think they're nine cents a piece and they came with twine. I had to buy a hundred um, in the particular case that I bought to get that good price. But um, these guys are really inexpensive too. I think a hundred for like $15 or something like that. You can reuse these if you're careful. Um, and then I also bought what are called J hooks. They come with two. And then we have um, these guys hook on to the branches. So I'm gonna show you how to put these on, um, but they're really fruit supports. Um, so when you have those really heavily laden branches, you can put some supports on there to really um, keep them from breaking off, which we, we do have that problem occasionally. So, um, all right, let's get started with the twining and um, adding this up to the trellis. Okay, so we've taken the cable ties and just placed it around the conduit. And then we're going to take our tomato hawk 
and we're gonna hook that right down on top of there now this is gonna hold the weight of the tomatoes so it's not gonna go anywhere I'm kind of pulling hard on it so you can see what that's like um, that's why that little dip right here in the metal is there it's really to lock it in place and then the line itself comes all the way down and will attach down here so I'm gonna do a different shot so you can see me attaching this um, but that's how we hooked the, the trellis line itself so we're gonna take the line down from the top um, and we're going to place this around the base we're gonna just really lightly knot this we're not going to tighten it down at all we're just going to do a loose loose um, tie not even a knot um, and then the corner of this little guy right here is ready to take the line it's going to pinch it as it closes to lock it into place so we want to make sure that we get the line in the corner here hold it there with your fingers and then underneath this base branch around the stem we're going to clip this closed make sure it locks go and now we are connected to the trellis so as we go up we're gonna want to add here and there a few of these guys to really support it um, I'll add another one here you want to add them at the base of a branch so right here and we're gonna clip that on you don't need to do this constantly up the, up the stem you can do it every feet every few feet if you need to um, it's really just to help give it support along the way and um, we're gonna pinch out that sucker it's in the way see so we have this beautiful um, blossom stem shooting out from the base this is a Napa Chardonnay blush tomato one of my most favorites I think they're such beautiful plants um, and then as this guy grows we're gonna kind of just wrap around the stem see they just have a little bit of a wrap there um, you don't even have to use these you can just wrap the stem all the way up but you do need to be on top of it a lot of tomatoes so it's a lot of work so I try to make it as easy as possible um, these guys tend to help out a little bit so that is how we attach to the trellis